Okay, just a brief update on the EVAP carbon canister on my zero turn mower. We mowed with it yesterday for about two and a half hours, and the right one is seeping gas again. It leaked through the night. It's kind of drying up now because it's about 95 degrees out, but we're still wet up in here. And the, strong, the smell of gas is strong. So the first thing I want to see, and I have not done it yet, I want to see if you can hear it on the camera, is according to my main dealer where the machine was purchased, the fuel tank has become pressurized. So let's loosen the cap and see if we can hear anything at all. This might be nearly impossible though. Yeah, just what I thought. Pretty much nothing. But here's what surprised me to see it leaking out of the right evap canister. All day yesterday and for the last two mowings, so that pushing almost four or five machine hours, we've been operating on the left tank. You see the fuel valve. And if I understood my dealer correctly, it will not leak if the tank is switched off of it. So that really surprises me as to how the gasoline is getting on the right side. I don't have an answer for it. But here's one theory that came from my dealer and I can't quite wrap my head around it and it's this. I showed you in the last video this has a vent hole in it. According to manufacturer's specs the size of the hole in this brass fitting right here is 20 thousandths of an inch. The vent screen is just on the other side of this tank this tank has only had a little less than a half a tank in it the entire time we're mowing. So I'm having a hard time believing that we're lifting three and a half gallons of gasoline or roughly 28 pounds of gasoline up to the top of this in order for it to suck the gasoline into the evap canister. Now this part here is even scarier. If that's not happening then the tank is in fact getting pressurized, which I couldn't, I did not relieve any pressure. I couldn't hear it myself and I'm, I'm right here by it. I realize the camera is going to be hard to pick it up. That takes us to a pressurized tank and the pressure leaving the fuel line on its way to the filter and the pump. Keep in mind that mower's off when this is going on. The tank's getting pressurized to the point it's forcing it through, through the filter, up and across the top of the motor and over to the fuel pump. Here's the fuel pump. Now this part makes sense to me, and here's why. Because once it reached the fuel pump, and also bear in mind this is, a, this is considered a high pressure fuel system, and I checked the specs on that this morning, this fuel pump is supposed to operate at 39 PSI. It is the EFI engine. So we've got our pressure through the fuel line, through the fuel intake line, reaching the fuel pump. When it reaches the fuel pump, it's topping it off, and it's hitting this line here. This line is the purge line. It runs here. Here's the T. Now what, where this is going, this is teeing off and going up through, up through the back of the intake and going to the intake port. Well, let's go back to the purge line. You follow the purge line down. Purge line runs right here to a T. And we're teed off, we're going right to our carbon canister. And it's called purge. This one is tank or vent. Got to get to where I can see it. It's called tank. So that being the case, we're pushing gasoline, raw gasoline, a long way. So we just checked the oil. It's right where it should be. So no gasoline made it into the engine. So after some research this morning on can these be cleaned out or maintained or, or saved, brand new ones run anywhere from 80 bucks on eBay delivered to $110 to as high as $120 across the desk at a dealership. But after researching online this morning, there's been some talk about you can take them off, you cannot take them apart and clean them out with anything and don't run any kind of liquid to them, any kind of a cleaner, uh, as in brake cleaner or something like that. I guess all that is not going to work but you can blow it out with air but don't exceed 50 psi so we're going to remove it and i'm going to put some tygon tubing on this and try to see just by blowing on it and try to see if it does feel like it's stopped up or see if i have any air flow at all through it and then we'll take it outside and we'll apply the 50 psi to it and see if we can in fact 
blow it out and see what just comes out of it. I'll loosen the fuel cap. So you can't get them mixed up. The tank will go to tank. The other's your purge tea. So we just get these up out of the way. Very simple to remove. Okay, I did not have any clear Tigon tubing in 3 16 ID. I just got fuel line hose. It does say not for fuel injection systems, uh, but on the other side it said it's good for up to 50 PSI. But if I was going to replace any operational hoses, I'd go ahead and get the fuel injection system hoses. Obviously it's cleared for more than 50 PSI. And who knows when it's hot and under pressure, how much the PSI can climb to. I'm going to just do it by mouth. I want to see if there's any obstructions. I can hear air coming out. This is blowing on the tank and I can blow out through the filter set. So let's see what it does on the purge. I'm gonna get some leak detector. This acts like it's coming out around this top seam here. I cannot, I stuck this pretty close to my ear in this one and I cannot hear any air coming out directly when I blow on this tube. And this is on the purge line. So let me get some leak detector. Now, to find out, is that normal or abnormal? If it's abnormal, what if I epoxied it? I don't know. It's interesting though. Okay, I'm not going to exceed 50. Okay, we shot raw gasoline right up out of that vent hole. I'm still on the purge inlet. Oh, quite a bit come out there. I'm going to move the camera back a little bit further. Let's get upwind. We took it off the purge. We're going to put it on the tank. See what happens. Now remember, on the tank, all the vent come out through the foam filter. It's pretty much what's wanting to happen now. Take a look at the bottom though. It's coming out of the bottom seam. We can pressurize the purge up to 50 PSI, and I've got a leak here at the top seam. If we pressurize the tank, we're leaking at the bottom. Now I wanted to come out through the top seam, and that's where my leaks started. They all started at the top and ran down. But if I do manage to put 50 PSI on the tank side, it comes out here, plus it's coming out at this bottom seam. I just wish I knew if the carbon canister was actually manufactured to behave like that. It could be, for safety's sake, it has to have somewhere to leak. If it was a sealed canister and raw gas got too full, where is it going to go? If it doesn't come out through the filter vents, then it could gradually make its way to the intake port and onto the engine. So, I don't know. It, it, it shouldn't be that complicated of a system. So, I'm going to mount this back on, and then I'm going to unhook the hoses over there and blow on them and see if I'm getting the same results. Okay, I went ahead and remounted the right side. I'm going to move to the left and just hook my hose up to it and blow on it by mouth and see what I can uh, find out. Okay, this is the purge. This is the one that should leak around the top of the cap. Okay, that's not the case. On this one, I've got a strong discharge through the vent. I mean, I can feel every bit what I'm blowing out with my mouth. I can feel it on my thumb. 
So what I'm gonna have to do is go ahead and buy a brand new one and do some experimenting on it and make a few more phone calls. If you're still with me on this, I've called three Skag dealership. One was on the outskirts of Cincinnati, Ohio, and he said he has never heard of them leaking, but somebody came in and bought one canister across the counter. He did not elaborate. He just said the price was 110 bucks. The other dealership, the one closest to me, I'm not gonna mention any names. He's a good old boy and he has sold skags for years and he said he's never heard of it. Well, that, that just kind of blows me away, but he's the dealer I'm not. Uh, the dealership the machine came from, he was well aware of it. Probably can't really give you a solid explanation of what's going on. I think only an engineer could. Again, I don't think it's that complicated, but I don't know how these guys are designed to operate. So I'm going to call the manufacturer. It's made by Flex Technologies and see if I can talk to someone there on if it's supposed to be a sealed unit or not. And if that's the case, I might be able to just take some good Loctite epoxy and epoxy my seams up. So that's on the purge. Let's do the vent. I don't know if I can show that or not. Okay, this is the tank vent. The other one, this should just come right out the air filters. There's a twin foam filter pack in here. Very easy to remove and clean. Okay, the complete opposite. I'm not getting anything through my air, through the filter pack here. It's all coming out of this one. So this can is not behaving anything like the other can. Let me show you. So what I'll do is probably buy me a new can and run some experiments on it and just kind of blow in and try to get an idea of what the air is trying to do in the can. That air did come out through the seams, but I did put 50 PSI on it. I don't know if I blow 50 PSI on this one, if it's all going to come out the, uh, the opposite line or not. I think while we're here, we should go ahead and try it. Okay, what I did is back that off to 40 PSI, because I know the other canister is leaking pretty bad, and I don't know really what they can take. That's just what I've read online. So I backed it down to 40 PSI. Okay, we're on the tank. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to give it a burst. Here's how I do this. Well, I'm gonna do it without the hose, but I just do this. Okay, here we go. Every bit of it is coming out this other line here. Now let's just flip them. Same thing. Every bit of that air is coming out of that other nozzle. There's not even no use to doing a leak test on it. And the thing is, what have I proved? I have no idea. I just know the other can is leaking bad. This can has never dripped. It does seep just a little bit. So I'll do another video after I get my new canister. We'll run some tests and we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. If you don't mind, please subscribe. Stay safe out there.